in honor of 4th of July today, I'm wearing my 4th of July sunglasses. Not really 4th of July, just my American flag sunglasses. This has been like, I don't know how many years in a row that I've had to work the 4th of July. Oh my gosh, dudes. These fireworks are scaring the crap out of me. There goes one. Oh, it's scary. Oh, but it's pretty. Oh, I wish my honey pie was here. Oh, it's pretty. I miss you, Sammy Squirrel. Good morning, guys. No, it's not morning anymore. It's a couple of minutes past 12, so even though it was morning just a couple minutes ago, it's past noon. I am finally awake. I'm so exhausted. Um, yesterday I worked a 12 hour shift on 4th of July. So now I'm on my days off today and tomorrow. And I'm just gonna eat something. Ham and cheese sandwich. So cute. Sam went grocery shopping and he got some of these. What did I tell you? Sam has been just holding down the fort while I've been working crazy hours. I'm gonna have some chips. Let's see what's on Netflix. Um, and then later on I wanna run some errands. What, Hercules? Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to tell you guys just a couple things. Okay, I only have a couple minutes. I created a Twitter account and also an Instagram account. I'll link them down below, so if you want to follow me, by all means, go right ahead. I just like to interact with you guys. And the next thing, I'm trying to get more fancy with my editing, so I've been watching videos on how to do that. What I mean by that is add more, I don't want to say graphics because that word kind of in intimidates me. Um, but more, I don't know. I don't know, but I guess overlays and stuff like that, I guess, I don't know. And also I've been researching ways on how to do a giveaway. I'm really kind of nervous about that because apparently if you do it all wrong, your channel could get shut down. And then some people even recommend not doing giveaways entirely but I see them all the time um, when I do figure out how to do a giveaway I'll let you guys know of course it might not be for a while because I, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right and when I do it's not gonna be anything be anything big or extravagant just a way to say thank you to you guys for following me and for supporting me uh, because like I said you guys encouragement is really really it's really, really nice to know that people are rooting for you, um, especially my husband. He's my biggest supporter. And even though he doesn't like being on camera, <laughs> he's still in my videos because he just does it to make me happy. And so yeah, I'll link to it down below. I wasn't able to recruit to the, I wasn't able to create a Snapchat because apparently you can only have one to one account on your device or something like that. And it says stuff like how to get a snapchat without jailbreaking your phone which doesn't sound like anything I want to do to my phone so be on the lookout for stuff like that follow me on Instagram and Twitter girl named Winnie not a girl named Winnie but just girl named Winnie because I didn't have enough space <laughs> so I'll see you guys here in my next clip bandit Herx and I are going to go cruise to get Hercules medicine Hercules. <laughs> Hi Fry. What's up man? What's up with my dog? Oh, I can't get over my bangs, how short they are right here. I wish I knew how to just trim my bangs on my own. Because uh. I don't want to sound bad. I don't want to sound like I don't like the lady that cuts my hair. She's super nice. And for the longest time, she was cutting my hair exactly the way I like it. But for this time, for this time, for this time, for whatever reason, this time, 
It didn't go as planned. What's up, dogs? What's up, dogs, huh? Chilling? Chilling? Going for a cruise? Ben is more interested in what's going on out there. How are you, Hurt? How are you today? Having a good day, huh? We gotta get your Nikes shot out of your eyes. Bandit Herx and I are here gassing up for Sam. Um, only because I hate driving on an empty tank, I decided to come and fill up his tank for him. And guess go home after this and see what's going on. My Sammy squirrel. <laughs> He cut his hair. I cut it myself. He's again, just getting something to eat before we start doing errands and stuff. It's evening time though. That's Route 66. Are you hungry, honey? Very hungry. I'm in Target now. Um, just looking at some stuff. I got some stuff that Sam needs. Well, I guess we both need. Water, Powerade, Spam, of course, chips, and they're out of the larger cups of the um, Starbucks stuff. So that's a um, very, very hibiscus, and she put it in a hot cup, and then she even put the sleeve on, which I found funny. But whatever. So we're just gonna continue our Target adventure. How funny is it that I want this pin? Predict a pin. So it's kind of like the magic eight ball type of thing. So you ask it a question. Um, what should I ask it? Okay, will I be getting a raise soon? That's what it says now. Oh, I spotted this fortune telling birthday book. Let's see what it has to say about my birthday. I was born on May 5th. Here we go. You are imaginative about visionary. You take pride in being well-dressed. You like flattery and enjoy society. Responsibility does not mean much to you. However, you are a charming person and pleasant to live with and should have a happy home life. I hope I'm pleasant to live with. I don't know. Sam, am I pleasant to live with? Here's Sam's. You are slow and deliberate, orderly, systematic, and methodo methodical. You give full consideration to all sides of a situation before entering into it. You accomplish whatever you undertake and are generally accurate in your judgment. You also find your soulmate under the sign of Virgo. What? I am not a Virgo. The other day, or well, actually last night when I was at Target, I spotted this and I thought that I had to get it for Sam. It's a Yoda uh, little figurine and it has a little book. And it includes, well, the book that I'm referring to is a book of Yoda's wisdom. And my husband, Sam, you know, there are people that are Star Wars fans, that they like Star Wars. And then there are people like Sam who <sighs> take it to the next level. <laughs> so I thought I'd get this for him just to, I don't know. I thought it would be cool. I think he'll like it. It's laundry day today. Somebody has a lot of dirty chonies. <laughs> How's your day going, honey? Uh, it's going okay. I'm only, what, an hour into it? Yeah. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do after this. Probably run a few errands. Check it out, dudes. Look what I was able to find, finally, here at CVS. Oh, there's some. Oh, well. These are the ones that I'm most interested in. They have these other ones here, but I'm not interested in them. These are the ones that I want. Well, I know they have another one, but I don't, I don't know where that's in, that one's at. When I was editing my video last night, I was talking about restaurant.com, and I don't remember if I explained what restaurant.com is. It's a website where you can go to purchase gift certificates for restaurants in your area. And 
they're more for um, mom and pop restaurants. You're not gonna find like places like Chili's or Olive Garden or you know chain restaurants. It's gonna be small restaurants, mom and pop, privately owned type of type of places. Depending on what kind of certificate you get, um, it can be for like a larger amount, like fifty dollars off of a hundred dollar bill, or in our case, we get the smaller amounts because it's just Sam and I. It's usually like ten dollars off a of twenty, or fifteen dollars off of thirty or even um, 25 off of 50 and the prices for the different certificates range um, they vary I should say um, depending on what type of what what kind what time of month you buy them um, they go on sale I usually try to buy mine uh, at the end of the month because they're trying to clear out their inventory and then sometimes in July they have like a Christmas in July sale where it's like a dollar fifty or something like that for a twenty-five off of fifty. I don't know, I might be exaggerating, but I know it's less than three dollars sometimes for a, a certificate like that. So that's usually when I stock up and they'll just be in my uh, my application until I'm ready to use them and they don't expire. Um, the good news about this is that you can exchange them, which will be what I'm doing for this restaurant that we went to that was awful. Um, we use them like when we go to this restaurant, it's called Mike and Rhonda's. We use them when we go to Hero's Sushi. Um, there's a couple other places, like we have some for Phoenix, um, because sometimes every once in a while we'll go to Phoenix. Mm. and it's really really it's really cool it saves you money if you if you're a foodie like Sam and I Sam and I have started peeling this off and it hurt like ow my little I guess like peach fuzz well it's not hurting now but like down here it hurts ah that part's not as bad well, right here oh shoot Oh. I'm like, ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, I'll just leave it. <laughs> just kidding. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Is it like satisfying somehow? Was it stuck in my. Oh shit! I want to say a cuss word. It like it pulls your little baby hair. That's not supposed to, but apparently I have a lot. I think yeah, that part doesn't hurt. Ugh. Got it. Hey, is that pulling your hair? Is <laughs> it? Yeah. My hair? My like on my head? Yeah. <laughs> Just pull your eyebrows. Okay. Ugh. Ew. Fucking you see through it. Okay. You're five seconds in now. Sam and I, Sam and I are here at IHOP. I just got off work. I'm really, really tired and it's loud in here. I ordered a burger. Sam, what did you order? Burger. Sam ordered a burger. And they have um, bottomless fries if you order a burger. So that's what I'm gonna get. And I ordered an egg on it too. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi.